debt room free welding is that actually possible here's the deal let's stick our heads together and see what it takes so far the discussion about dead volumes or dead room free welding was a more theoretical approach we were talking about l over d ratios about norms about the definition of dead volume in general. However, how do you now actually do it? The question is certainly answered by orbital welding technology, as this is usually the method how we do system integration in real. That's what we certainly do with orbital welding heads like that. However, when it comes to the tricky point of branch creation, branch manufacturing, we see that there's a slightly discrepancy in what we would like to achieve and what we have in hand for manufacturing. As you can see, the, the distance here is not matching. So that's actually not the suitable method to create something like that. And what we usually have in hand for manufacturing is a colored T piece like that. And also here you can see the distance or the possibilities that a welding head like that offers is not matching with what we need. So, but maybe there's a different method, something which is so far unknown. And that's where I take you now. The principle of IO welding is the following. The product will be fixed in a mounting device and will be shifted over the electrode in this way, will be formatted and then the arc will be ignited and the product is rotating around the electrode. So simple, so great. The quality of the weld seam is usually very good as in this process the electrode remains constant while the T-piece is rotating around it. That means that the melted metal is not changing the orientation towards the electrode. Plus the critical part of the weld seam which is the root is outside so an inspection is very easy to do. However, we always or usually inspect also the uncritical part, which is the inside. And the result is not good, it's very good. All right, so now we have figured that there's something else existing than standard orbital welding with a standard weld head in order to manufacture or use color T pieces and produce this. So closed branches, short or no dead volumes. But what are we gonna do if we have further challenges? Systems like that with designs like this where we have very short distances on a system itself or where we have manifolds being six, eight, 10 meters long. Very clear, we would need a building 10 meter high and a pit which is 10 meters deep. Or maybe there's another solution? That's what I will show you in one of our next videos. So far, stay tuned, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ask us the questions you always wanted to know and stay healthy. Take care, bye-bye, see you soon.